Alright. Head off to the, the new spot anyways. So got out of here again. No problems. Got one beaver, so that's good. Now uh, we're heading off to the next place here. Don't know exactly where I'm going. I got told an address. And to go past that address a couple driveways and look for some four-wheeler trail. <laughs> that was made yesterday. So that's what I got. Let's check it out. Made it to the Beaver Haven there. I was supposed to come back yesterday, but honestly, I came back out here and, like I was saying, I don't get all of that personal information um, from the town. They don't hand out phone numbers and names. So yesterday, I came knocking on doors and struck out. I got uh, I got no no responses. But what I did is, you know, I left my card indoors and wrote them little notes. And sure enough, they called me. Uh, they called me pretty quick because they want me out here. Um, you know. I can't get the phone number before I drive all this way. I don't know, but you know, it's the way it is. Um, so the guy brought me out here. I didn't really film anything at the beginning because I was meeting the landowner. And uh, another bummer news. I forgot my tripod today. Bummer. So I'm not going to be able to film much. Uh, I'll do what I can with my hand and uh, show you some sets. And uh, we'll see what Beaver Haven does, apparently. All right. Stay tuned. Well, this is the second location in the, the Beaver Haven area. I got back here. Landowner's super cool. Let me borrow his bike so I don't gotta bring mine. It really helps on the longer, longer travel times, and I don't gotta haul a trailer. But uh, I'll walk out here and let's see what we see. This one. This is pretty big. And then over here, you can see we got another fair sized one over there. So, I'm gonna work on this one, check it out, set some sets on it, and work my way over to that other one. So, might actually be Beaver Haven. Because once I get over that way, there apparently is another one. And where I was out earlier, once I bring my boat, once I go further out there, apparently there's another dam. So you're talking like probably at least six dams along this one system here. So it's going to take quite a few beavers to do that. So we'll see what happens. As you can see, this place got uh, a little bit of beaver sign going on here. Quite a bit, actually. Put this in the army too. There's another little one. I'm actually standing on top of a pretty big, yeah, pretty big. As you can see, it stretches out all the way across there. Goes to their hut, and I just walked across it all the way here too. Just back over from the last video, just over over around the corner there is where I just was setting more traps. So I'll get this place set up too and look for the next one. Well, that's going to be it for today for uh, the Beaver Haven. Uh, I got eight sets out and uh, they, they look pretty decent anyway. There's only a house that way. This way is just dams. So it'll be interesting to see how, uh, how it shakes out and I'll come back tomorrow. I'll bring my tripod, and it'll actually get some easy footage, and it'll be better because there should be some beavers in the traps, which is always more exciting. And uh, I'm also going to bring the canoe, and we'll be able to push a lot further into it, and uh, we'll put out some more sets. Wouldn't surprise me if I wind up with all of my monitors. It's a pretty big place, and I don't want to be here for too, too long, so I'm going to stack up the uh, Stack them up in a hurry, I believe. Yeah, so. 
Get out of here and see you tomorrow. Oh, back here on check day, first check day, so it should be exciting. You can see I got my boat in here, and uh, that should make things easier to get around. So I'll just take a quick walk over here and see what's easy to see in the foot. Looks like we got a triple. That's just so far. We still gotta go over there. Well, looks like uh, Beaver Haven might be working out there. <laughs> Seems to be a few here. I'll uh, get the boat in the water there and uh, see what else we got. All right, it's much easier to get around with the boat than going through the bush with the bike, let me tell you. So this is where I started yesterday. So uh, I'll turn you around and. See if we got anything. I know we got one sprung trap here with nothing in it. Let's see what's in the other two. This is the sprung one. Probably hard to see, but the trap's just laying there sideways. You can see there's not a not a very well maintained dam. No mud or anything, but it's intact and there's clear runs going over it. So I think we're probably connected with something here. Well, this one's not touched. Only one left. A lot less sunny out today. It's definitely raining a little bit. I think I'm gonna get soaked today, so I might not get to see the rest of the sets if it starts raining really hard. Got nothing. 0 for 3 here. Well, that means they're either all the other way, but I'm gonna throw the boat in here. I'm gonna throw the boat in here and, uh, and go take a look, anyways. I've been told, uh, oh, that way. Yeah, that's pretty hard to do. That way, uh, there's another big dam here, maybe some hot so. We'll go explore and uh, we'll know we'll know shortly whether I gotta go this way or if this is the end of the life. We will find out and get back to you. Alright, well, the rain's starting to pick up, so I got nothing on whoop, this trap down here. Um, but I did get one here. So that makes four on this pond. I got uh, this is a quadruple on this pond. So I'm gonna throw the boat in over here and continue down this little stream and see what there is to see. Well, I made it back home. Couldn't uh, couldn't film much more because man, I got wet. It rained hard. It was bad. But uh, I found a ton more beaver dams out there. At least two more houses. I'm pretty sure three active houses, but two guaranteed were active. And. Uh, in the end, it was worth it though, because I did come home with six beavers there, so that's pretty exciting. Definitely beaver haven. And I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot more to come because uh, I found quite a few, quite a few more things when I dug in there with my canoe. So hopefully we get some sunshine tomorrow and uh, we're gonna have another big pile of beavers, I think. 